Big fan of the YSL Tushy Claw. Just gonna pump that onto a beauty blender. I've really been enjoying very simple natural makeup and just light coverage too. I like when you can see things underneath your foundation, you know? Concealer. This is the Radiant Touch. And I love this stuff. Where are we out? <gasps> oh, 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 shoot. Oh my god, too much. Cream bronzer. This looks so gross, so I'm not gonna show that. I have some rare beauty products that I haven't tried yet. Blush. This is a melting blush in nearly apricot. That is so pretty. Should I use my finger? I don't know. Ooh. Pretty. I'm a big fan of this blush. This is the liquid eyeshadow, and this is in the shade nearly apricot as well. It doesn't feel very powdery once you tap it in, but it definitely mattifies. Eyebrows, I'm using Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I've been going very chill on the brows lately. Just a little bit. I'm gonna use some powder. I wish I could go powder free. Cream products always crease up under my eyes and I just end up looking too oily throughout the day. Not too much, but just a little. I'm doing everything out of order, but whatever. Lots of rare beauty today. This is the Nearly Neutral Balm. So it's like a lip balm, but it's a glossy lip balm. I'm gonna set my brows with Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I like to brush everything up. Mascara. Why am I being so quiet? <laughs> For the past few weeks, I have jumped back to Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics. Any of my last recent videos, that is what I've been wearing because I've been getting comments on it. It's a classic for a very good reason. Like, it's just so beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's definitely the prettiest powder highlighter I've ever used. There we have our makeup. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna clean this all up now. Since today is Monday, I'm about to fill out my weekly overview, habit tracking, important to do's, top three priorities. The last time I showed you guys this planner, a bunch of you were asking for a link to it, so I'll have that down below, but it is the Papier 16 week daily planner and I love the format of this. Can't say enough good things, truly. The knowledge that you get to learn, but listening to Lexi's podcast, New year, new nothing, feel that, relate to that. I haven't done a closet clean out in, I fully purchased a new clothing rack to store in our already huge closet. In my defense, we split it in half, so only half. But yeah, I'm running out of space and, and that's never fun. I'm gonna get rid of some stuff. I'm kind of selective with where I like things to go in terms of selling, donating, things like that. Luckily, I have Phineas's mom that helps with that, helps find different shelters, different organizations, places where I can donate makeup that hasn't been used or places that I can donate clothing that is pretty much brand new. I'm just gonna go through this pile that I have been building up. Just just do something with it. I need to do something with it all. All right, Lexi, let's get back to it. That was the first adjective that came to my mind. Um, it's, it feels really like In relation to donating clothing, figuring out what to sell, I need your opinion. Entering into adulthood, I made a lot of purchases. Some of them fire, amazing, but I am tossing between two purses that I haven't picked up in so long. I think literally one of them I've only used once. 
Hi. These Celine bags were just such a trend. What was it, 2014? And then we've got this one. Honestly, like I still think it's so cute, but I guess because it's so small, I just never find myself using it. I think I've used this once, literally. So I am considering selling these, and I think when it comes to designer luxury goods that are still in great condition, you've barely used, you bought it when you were 22. For this reason, I love the Real Real. Oh, you guys know, you know I'm such a fan. They are also the sponsor of today's video. The Real Real is a consignment website, app, and store. They have locations in Los Angeles, New York, San Francisco, and a new store in Chicago. They sell every single brand, Gucci, Chanel, Prada, Louis Vuitton, and you can find items that are up to 90% off retail price, which is crazy. They have a team of experts that are authenticating everything and making sure that it's real before selling it. And one of the best reasons to sell on the real real is because the more you sell, the more you earn. You can earn up to $500 of bonus site credit as a first time seller, which is all I'm thinking about right now because these purses, I don't use them and they could go towards a purse that I could use every single day and I just, that checks out in my head. All the information will be in the down bar. Let's sell so we can shop a little more. I mean, we're making room for it, aren't we? <laughs> I have been wanting to go through our fridge and clean it out, organize it. We finally did it. So at the top here, we've just got our cold brew, almond milk, broth. These little containers help to keep your fruit and vegetables fresh. So I just have lettuce in there, berries in there, some salsa, pasta sauces. I have this little bin here for anything that comes in a bag. So chia seeds, mozzarella shreds, Black seeds, nutritional yeast, all of that. So this higher one just has some produce in there. I keep my avocados in the fridge because otherwise they just get too mushy too fast. In here we've got our cheese dairy section and then here we have like our protein section and then anything that's like pre-made. I feel like Phineas would never admit to this so I'm just gonna flex for him. Here we have our John Mayer oranges. John Mayer sends us oranges for the holidays. What the hell? This breakfast room has a long way to go. If you guys remember, this is my old media stand for my apartment. We are gonna try to find someone to give it to or sell to. It just doesn't really work in here and I have like a pantry cabinet coming on the way. It's really pretty, it's black with glass doors and it'll help just store more pantry items. The new and exciting addition to this room is our little fridge. <laughs> We have been wanting to get a beverage fridge for so long because the fridge that we have that you guys just saw is really shallow. So having beverages in there really takes up a lot of space. So this literally came in the mail like three days ago or something, but we've got a freezer in here. So we're gonna start storing like our desserts in here, which is so cute. And then here we have our beverages, which is so great. We've been really going through them, but we love having any sort of like sparkling water, flavored water. Love these poppy drinks. This is your spot. This is your little spot. Oh man, you guys, I just finished Untamed by Glennon Doyle. I truly believe everyone needs to read this book. It might not appeal to heterosexual cis men, but being a female, this book really spoke to me. Glennon is an author, an activist, and this book is her most recent memoir talking about her divorce and remarrying a woman and just sort of navigating struggles, addictions, mental blocks. I mean, I feel like almost everything is covered in this book. She talks about drug addiction, alcohol addiction, anxiety, depression, anger towards others. There's so much 
about motherhood in here that I will hold on to and reread when I become a mother in the future. One of the things that she says that I really love is like, so much of society tells us that our life becomes our children once we become mothers and that we don't exist outside of that. And she sort of breaks that concept and believes that as a parent, you have to live your life and you have to show and set an example if you don't want your kids to fall into any stereotypes that humanity has just poured on us in terms of misogyny and gender roles, even just like what people expect of us, expect us to look like, to be eating, to be thinking, like what they expect our opinions to be. And she also talks about the knowing, which is sort of like your gut, your impulse feeling, like what your body feels and tells you, how sometimes we can be so disconnected from that based on whatever teaching and philosophies and sort of like things that we've heard our entire lives growing up from parents, from teachers, from other friends. I mean like literally this book is so intimate. I mean there are just so many chapters that I want to like reread a hundred times and I bet in a year from now or in six months or something I'm gonna want to pick it back up and just go through my favorite chapters to share a quick little story in here that I thought was just so cute. One of her daughters came up to her in bed one night and was like, mom, I feel really alone. And I don't feel it throughout the day because I'm distracted, but when I'm in bed alone at night, I feel this feeling of being alone. And Glennon was like, I absolutely feel the same way many times. Do you remember when we were on the beach earlier and you saw the little girl scooping up cups of the ocean and placing them on the beach? And she was like, you know, maybe we are all just buckets and cups scooped from the ocean. And the reason we sometimes feel so alone and disconnected is because we are being held in this cup and held in this mold and taking the metaphor even deeper, this cup can mean so many different things. Maybe at the end of this lifetime, someone takes our cups and pours them back into the ocean where they all belong. I loved that metaphor because I feel like there is this undeniable connection that at least I personally feel with just everything around us, whether that be people or nature. And it's just such a cute metaphor to think that we are like made up of the same water that everything else is made up of. You know, I don't know, like that is, this is very cheesy, but I just thought that was such a cute way to describe a feeling that her daughter was having. And just, yeah, there were so many things like that where I was like, perfectly said. Good job, Glennon. <laughs> I really just think this book is magic and I think you guys should read it like immediately. That's all I can say. That's my book review for Untamed. Let me know if you like this little like book review. I'm thinking I can just kind of, I don't feel like I read enough books to be able to do like my books of January because it would be like two. I think as I finish books, I'm just going to have short little reviews kind of sporadically throughout my vlogs if you guys enjoy that. But. Definitely that was a big request in my last video in the comments. You guys were like book reviews. Let's do it So here we are. We're doing it. All right. I love you guys very much Thank you to the real real for sponsoring today's video and I'll see you guys for a new video very soon